Is Joey Fatone replacing Joe Gatto on Impractical Jokers? Or will the empty spot in the tenderloins be filled by someone else? Want to know what other celebs may be in the running? Keep watching. In December 2021, Joe Gatto of Impractical Jokers announced he would depart the long-running True TV series. Unfortunately, this was no practical joke, and the remaining cast members have pushed forward without their longtime friend by their side, pranking unsuspecting victims. Gatto had been on the show since its founding in 2011, along with his pals Brian Q. Quinn, James Mer Murray, and Sal Volcano. The four would venture forth, usually in New York City, where they would make fools of themselves in public, making people uncomfortable in the process. My wife was a rat. My wife was a rat. And I'm her little cheese boy. Now currently, I'm her little cheese boy. <laughs> <laughs> it was all in the name of good fun, and the gang certainly produced numerous laughs over the years, both for themselves and the millions of viewers watching at home. Starting part way through season 9, Joe Gatto left the series, and the remaining cast members have ventured forth without their friend. In his place, they brought on various guest stars, including comedians Eric Andre and Colin Jost. The situation begs the question of whether someone will enter the fold to replace Gatto for good. He has everything we know so far about a prospective Gatto replacement. Finding a new Joker to join the ranks of the show would be no easy task. They would have to find someone who vibes well with the current cast members and has no problem making a fool of himself in public. As it turns out, the guys already had someone in that wheelhouse in the form of former NSYNC singer Joey Fatone. He's appeared on numerous episodes and specials over the years, having no problem getting in on the action himself. Fatone even hosts the after-show Impractical Jokers After Party, which sees the guys break down their favorite moments from episodes as well as offering bonus content to viewers. It's obvious he has a lot of fun on the show. But would he make a good permanent co-host to take Joe Gatto's spot? A lot of the uh, a lot of the stuff I learned on the Dog Whisperer works for her. <laughs> Fatone was actually asked about such a development at the Pandemic Dead 2022 panel in Atlanta. He was questioned as to whether he would consider replacing Joe Gatto permanently on the show. He responded coyly but honestly, saying, "Heck yeah, I'd love to, but it's Joe. Joe is the man on that one. Let's be real." All of them are, but he had no fear whatsoever. That dude did not care, and he's good at it. He's really good at it. So yeah, I'll probably come out and do stuff. So if Fatone wouldn't do the show full-time, who would be next in line? There are a ton of noteworthy comedians out there who would likely love the opportunity to pal around with the Jokers. However, Gatto brought something special to the proceedings. For starters, the four of them had been friends for years prior to getting a show and you can't fake that kind of chemistry. Gatto also became well-loved throughout his time on The Prank Show for his boldness and willingness to do everything and anything for a laugh. That's why it may not come as much of a surprise to hear that there are no plans to include a permanent fourth host on the show anytime soon. James Murray did an interview with Staten Island Advance where he was asked about Gatto and the prospect of replacing him. While Murray explained how the show was definitely different, he elaborated, He's irreplaceable, so we didn't even try to replace him. That's the idea. Since he's such an integral part of the heart of the show, he can't be replaced. He won't ever be replaced. There will never be a fourth member like that. Since his departure, the show has instead opted for one-off celebrity co-hosts. But it sounds like that'll be the system they implement for the foreseeable future. Murray went on to say, The show is still hysterical. It's different, it'll always be different, but it's still hysterical. And I'm just glad to still be doing it with my best friends. Anyone who's watched the most recent episodes knows all too well how funny the series has remained. So while viewers hold out hope for Gatto's return, at least they have plenty of hilarious guest star antics with the rest of the crew to tide them over. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.